Hello everybody, welcome to Undertale. We just phased off with Undying. Not kinda, I don't know really. But, I'm recording this at 7.20. Something in the morning. Oh, can I make a bridge? I can. That's cool. <coughs> Sorry about my voice. It's messed up this morning. I should probably repeat that sign. Four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Aaron flexes in. Flex with You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Pack increases for each hit. Flex even contest. Okay, flex more. Flex harder and flexes thrice as hard attack in peace for you too. Nice, I won't lose though. Oh crap. You won. Yay. I'm gonna use my dang cinnamon honey. I don't have any. I have nothing. Oh, that might suck. What do I do? It's a two straight line. Five minutes. There. I'm smart, boy. 
Okay, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number secretly until I got yours. <laughs> oh, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Are you wearing a bandana? I'm wearing a bandana. I have a nice day. Yes, I am. Oh, yeah, okay. Sorry, I'm okay. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. Hope with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we are. These sparkling stones on the ceiling. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. Okay, the king proved that. Come on, sis. Make a wish. Wash your well. That was easy. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Look through the telescope. Yes. Check wall. How oh, soon my horoscope is this they must last week. Ha. Uh, Huh? Ancient writing covers the walls. Just make out the words. The war of hum humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have no weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. Monster will with a human soul, a horrible beast with infamable power, power, not plower, foot. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Is that a mild Magnorf? Morph? I think the next boss isn't dying because she looks awesome. No. Had a save point there.
she's like a dang stormtrooper, I think that it's called. Always miss. <laughs> Um, I can't move. <laughs> Yo, did you see that? A dying just touched me. I'm never watching my face again. Man, are you unlucky? If you were just standing a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'll, I'm sure you'll see her again. cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Squeak. Knowing that the mouse will one day extract the cheese from the magical crystal fills you with determination. 126 hours. Two minutes. <laughs> hey look, it's sounds. <laughs> I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 500,000 gold to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Use the telescope, of course. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. What are you? What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? What's up here? A party dude. I relocated my store, but... Are still there are still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards! Every time you buy it, an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a nice free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Ice cream? It's a frozen treat that warms your heart. Yes! Box contains two cards. Take a card. Yes. You got a punch card. Yes. What the heck do the punch cards do? I hit the wrong button. Please come back. I don't know why I'm shutting off all the lamps. Ah, put the punch cards in the box. Use the box? Yeah. You heard a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. Can I put this on? I know what they do. You can 
embellishes. Hello, this is Popyrus. Remember when I asked you about please? Well, if you wanted to know, your opinion of you is very murdery. But I bet you know that already. Because when you knew that, I told her what you told me. You were wearing a bandana. Because I knew, of course, you're such a suspicion. You would probably change, change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This is true. That you're safe and identified. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. <laughs> I did change my clothes anyway. I changed to ballet shoes. Since he's harder, I'm gonna do him first. Did you guys wake up Olivia? You flex harder. Aaron flex. Thrice as hard. Nice. I won't lose this time though. Flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the way. Oops, I meant to scrub a uh, sub dumps. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't lie. Who are those people? The power to take their souls. This is with the power that, hum that the humans feared. Onion side? Why am I not moving? It's on the other side. Hey there. Notice you were here. I'm Onginsen. Onginsen, you here? You're visiting the underwater fall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting is so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. And the aquarium's full in it anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Undying's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm a... I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? <laughs> I'm not using... You hear? I'm not moving. Right. Hey there, that, that's the end of this room. I'll, I'll see you around. Uh, have a good time. And waterfall. <sighs> that's a horrible. Chiron. Somehow I encouraged you anyway. Hum. This is serious. It's a great treasure. Okay, I'll go through them. 
Is it the piano? I don't know what I was supposed to do here. Haunting my song echoes down the corridor. When you play along, only the first eight are fine. I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> Mostly because I don't know how. There's a statue. The structure said its feet seem dry. Let's go to Umbrella then. Is umbrella on the statue? Yes. Place the umbrella atop the statue. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. Please take one. Yes. It's gonna end up. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. Let's go. Man, my dang is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed at every night, knowing she was gonna beat me up. Haha. <laughs> so one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Monster kid with your stupid face. Maybe she wanted to beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Turn that umbrella? Put back. Turn that umbrella. That person looks soulless. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you want to see you undying, right? Climb on my shoulders! Thanks, monster kid. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Stupid monster kid with your stupid face. <laughs> Sorry, monster kid. The serene sound of a distant music box fills you with determination.
What is that? Let's be what to walk. Oh crap. Nope. <laughs> I did it finally. I died like three times. <sighs> no, <laughs> you said you won't let go. You said you won't let go. I hit the bottom. Have you ever gone? No. Sounds like it came from over here. Oh, oh you've fallen down. Haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Tara. Huh. That's a nice name. My name is Azriel. Shh. Flashbacks. As real dreamer. The waterfall seems here to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Feeling the endless cycle of worthless garbage fills you with determination. <laughs> Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? No. Stare into it. his eyes for a moment. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Too intimidated to fight me, huh? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live in a dummy too until you came along and you talked to them. They thought they they were in for a nice chat, but the things you said horrible, shocking, unbelievable. It spooked them right out and out of yeah! me. Dougie, shut up! Yeah. I was scared your soul out of your body. That's an angry dummy. Angry? Yeah. Talk. Talk to the dummy. Doesn't seem much for a conversation. No one is happy with this. Foolish, foolish, foolish. I have to hit, make him hit himself. Oh, my dummies. Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey, hey you, you forgot I said anything about magic. Talk to them. Doesn't seem much for a conversation.
interesting catalog that looks. Hey guys. Dummies, dummies, guys. Remember how I said not to shoot me? Well, failures! You're fired! They're all being replaced. Ha 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 ha. Now you'll see my true power relying on people that aren't garbage. I have 8 health points and I just got to the robot. this video here until I like break my laptop. Uh, I'm gonna continue this next time. If you guys like to give it a like and a bye bye.